Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to this new uh, series on the best SEO tools in 2018. This is going to be a complete guide. I'm compiling all the different tools that I use on a regular basis as an SEO. And uh, th these are just my observations as to which ones are the most useful. When I say the best, I'm talking about the best tools in terms of price and value. Now, I mean, some of them are going to be a little expensive, but again, it's weighing against the, the kind of value you get. And quite frankly, some of the more expensive ones are really worth the value, in my opinion. So without further ado, here is the first tool we will discuss. This is called Page Optimizer, uh, and you can find it at pageoptimizer.pro. Uh, basically, this is exactly what it sounds like. This is an on-page optimizing tool. And up until recently, it was available in beta. Now it's uh, it's paid. It's like a dollar per report. Pay as you go. Um, what you do is you type in your target URL that you're optimizing for. Then you enter the main keyword that you're optimizing for, and you hit get variations. And what that's going to do is it's going to spit out a bunch of semantic variations that Google consider, considers closely related to our main keyword. So if we're searching for, let's say, best pet toys, that what the tool is spitting out is it's it's giving us all these ones that are in bold um, or iterations of them, basically saying that Google is considering these of value when you're when people are searching for best pet toys. Because you'll see it a lot of times in searches. You'll see results here like there's no best pet toys in this result, but there's, there's got to be some semantic variations somewhere in the content. And that's what Page Optimizer is going to find because oftentimes when we're optimizing ourselves just using our eyeballs, it's really hard to notice those those variational changes. Like I would just look at the web page and say, oh, well, there's the exact match isn't in there, so I'm not exactly sure what they're doing. Now, I mean, you can see it in the URL and stuff, but this tool just cuts out the guesswork and it gives us a really scientific analysis of which on-page elements we need to tune to compete with our top competitors. So that's another thing is you get to choose your competitors. Now it gives you up to 10. So you could theoretically just select the top 10 on the first page. You could, it, it, you know, if you're depending on what niche you're in, uh, you could just pick the competitors that you know off the top of your head directly that you know you want to compete with. Um, it, it really depends on on kind of what you're doing, what you know, what your goals are. But you type in ten competitors, then you scroll down to the bottom of the page, enter your email address, hit send request, and within a minute or two, it'll email you an entire spreadsheet of all the different optimizations you need to make to your on-page content. So let's look at one here. So this is one that I typed out. This is for this is for my personal site. Um, this is uh, just I'm just testing it, obviously, and, and trying to see what theoretically what would need to be changed for the term SEO or San Diego SEO expert. OK, so as you can see, it spits out all these different on page factors like H1, H2, H3, H4, image alt text, anchor text, paragraph text, bold, italic. Um, and, and over here, it gives us the the totals as far as as far as the um, the ideal recommended amounts we need to have for each one so on this side these are the recommended variations and it's taking the variations from that list of variations I showed you here right when we hit get variations it comes up with a list here and it uses that to influence these recommendations so on this side we have that and then we go to the other side of the page over here, and these are all of our exact match variations in this area, right? This column. So we can see, you know, just by eyeballing it, you can see, well, it looks like the exact term is being used pretty well. Um, there are a few, a few instances here where we could increase the number of exact keywords used in paragraphs or bolded, stuff like that. But um, by and large, that side is good. But then you look over here and you realize, oh, well, it's really the issue for me then is my variation. So I should go through and I should see where those variations are. You know, where am I using 
uh, you know, San Diego or expert or SEO by itself, like all these different variations, you can then go through your content and measure where that's happening. And then you can tune your content effectively uh, so that it, it doesn't, it doesn't have that, you know, to the same extent. And the other nice thing too is, um, so let's say that, you know, our H3, it says leave as is, but let's say the H3, it wanted us to, it wanted us to decrease our H3s, right? Let's say we had too many H3s that said reduce the number of H3s variations. Well, we could then go up to the H2 and increase the number. We could remove them from the H3, remove those variations and increase them into the H2s. And so that would be sort of a way of, of kind of balancing that out. Another nice thing here is that you can click on the bottom. So it has these tabs on the bottom, <clears throat> tag totals and the competitors you typed in. But the tag totals one is really helpful. So what I would recommend people do, go through this first tab first, first tab first, God. Um, go, through, go through the very, very first tab when you open Excel um, first, this side and this side, and try to optimize each each side as best you can and then head over to the tag total section um, because this is more this has nothing to do with the keywords or the variations or any of that these are just this is just strictly telling you what the top 10 competitors how many tags they have right it's not it's not saying you know it has this many of that keyword it's just saying it has this many of that tag period so that's why I think it's better to go through here first because you can optimize it initially just based on your keywords. And then once you have your keywords dialed in, it becomes a lot easier to, to just go through and either add or reduce the number of tags you're using without having to worry as much about the keywords. Um, Cause you can reduce, you can reduce or add to the tags with any random word pretty much um, that makes sense that it, it, without messing up your keyword count, if that makes sense any sense anyway um, so yeah this tool is fantastic it used to be free up until a couple weeks ago it was in beta mode and now uh, it's paid but at a dollar per report you really can't beat that it's a great price uh, this is also very similar to another tool that I'm going to review under the best tools uh, so stay tuned for that that'll probably be either part two or part three um, but yeah this is called page optimizer and it's absolutely incredible I recommend it uh, mainly because you don't have to commit to anything. You can just buy credits and I think you have to pay 20 bucks at a time. But again, it's a dollar per report. So you pay 20 bucks. You can use it. You can use all your reports in one month. You could use them over the course of many months. Uh, it's really just about what you need it for. Otherwise, you can pay the $35 a month if you feel like you're going to use it a lot. So anyway, I hope that I hope you understood that. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. The next video is gonna be coming really soon with part two in this best SEO tools uh, 2018 complete guide. So I hope this is helpful for you and have a good one.